Stay silent. Unless you want him to do the silencing for you. Welcome to Stock Footage Syndrome. For the next few minutes, unless you want your eyes gouged out, your ears ripped off and shoved down your throat, or a big hand shoved up your ass to work you like a puppet, you better stay quiet for the next few minutes. Unless you're into S&M. Today, I will talk about the story of the silencer. This actually dates back not too long ago. It was the 1990s. Music festivals were growing a lot more frequent and hip-hop was growing. A man by the name of Tristan, was always quiet and timid, never raised his voice and only asked for peace and quiet. He'd meet his fate on October 5, 1995, when a hip-hop music festival came to down, right on his block. It lasted for four days from October 2nd to the 5th. On the final day, Tristan couldn't take it anymore, he opened his window, and yelled at the top of his lungs for the first time. All the adrenaline went to his head and he passed out, and he fell from his fourth-story window and died at the scene. His body was never recovered, although the festival would still continue. What really happened was bigger. All the rage he kept pent up inside all those years, manifested into its own personality, and when he yelled, he freed it. Leaving no purpose for the body to exist. When the body hit the ground, it sank into the ground. His personality and thoughts were now part of this new spirit he released. Afterwards, this spirit would just linger around all dazed and confused, it had no idea of the events that occurred moments ago, but for some reason, it knew that it was angry at the music and the people at the festival. Although feeling weak, he went down to the festival and wanted to put an end to all the noise, he went up to each and every one of them and individually silenced them one way or another. He ripped off one guy's arm and shoved it down his throat, he opened up a woman's mouth and sliced of her tongue and ripped out her teeth. From this experience, he learned that all the screams only made him more powerful, and all their screams of agony just made him more powerful. By the end of that night, everyone at the festival would be horribly injured, or killed. For the next few days, barely anyone in the city ever said a word. That's pretty much its origin, now here's what happened now. After that event, it was dubbed by the media as, the Screams of Silence Massacre. After seeing that, Tristan went on and called himself the Silencer, a spirit who would quote unquote, silence people of very loud noise. That music festival never returned after that year, in fact, the people behind it shut down all the festivals around the world in fear that something like this would happen. No one has really seen the being, you can only see it when it kills you. Traces of the silencer usually occur around this time of year, which is why the city has placed a city-wide silence curfew. No making a noise after 8pm unless you really need to get something across, in that case whisper. The silencer feeds off mostly in large groups, so if you are going to make some noise, you should probably be alone, where the silencer won't have much energy to feed off of you. Only me, a few conspiracy theorists, and the secret group of people who secretly own and rule the world know about the silencer, it's a very long project to follow and is something that we all always have to keep a close eye on. When you are in a group of people, I recommend that you keep the volume to a minimum, you don't have to be completely silence, but just keep in mind, the louder the noise that you make, the more energy the silencer is able to feed off of you. All we really know is, where it came from, what it does, how it does it, and where it does its actions. We don't know exactly how long this creature will live though. Most people assume that once people stop screaming and shouting, the silencer will lose energy, but since 90% of the world is batshit crazy, that won't be happening anytime soon. Once people are able to start going to festivals again, I recommend you use caution, between potential mass shooters and the silencer, you have a 75% chance of survival. Which is large, but still not large enough. The US government has been experimenting with creating another creature like the silencer and try to understand it more. But like most of the other experiments conducted by the US government, it will likely lead to hundreds of thousands of people dying, but we always move on anyway. Well, that's it from me tonight, I'll just be sitting in my bed waiting for the night to be over, while I constantly shit myself from fear. See you next time.